Hey guys, what's going on? So in today's video, I am very excited to announce the next phase in the Dales Leather Works evolution. Uh, I'm introducing a new product. This is something that I've been wanting, that I've been prototyping for about a year now. I'm gonna be releasing on my website these single wrap bracelets, as well as these double wrap bracelets. So I've been prototyping these for a while. At first I started making these, they came with a roller buckle enclosure, and they just weren't very popular. I sent them around to some friends and I didn't seem to get much good feedback. Not to mention like I was wearing them. I'm sure you saw them in a lot of my previous videos and such. They were good. I was making them out of brown chrome excel and whatever scraps I had at the time. But then I've since refined my design and instead of a roller buckle, I decided to go with these raw brass Japanese studs. I'm very excited about these because I feel like finally I've hit the nail on the head in terms of the bracelet design. Price-wise, I believe the single wraps, I'm gonna sell those for about $35 on my site, and the double wraps, they're gonna be $45. A single set bundle, these two would be $80 combined. That's kind of what I'm thinking about in terms of like pricing goes. So I know that everybody's different. Some guys just want the single wrap, that's fine. 35 bucks, easy. Some guys might just want the double, that's fine too. What's really cool, and this is why sending stuff around for people to try out is so valuable. My buddy Tech at Bootlosophy on YouTube, otherwise known as Take O on Instagram, he's a good friend of mine, he's a gentleman, he's a scholar, he really knows his stuff. And anyways, I sent him this set in British Tan Double Shot. And what I was doing before was I was putting the single bracelet on as well as the double bracelet. I was throwing those on separately. But what he figured out, all right, so there you go. So that's what that would look like, putting them on separately. But what Tech figured out is a really cool hack, <laughs> something that I would have never <laughs> thought of myself. You could combine the two. You could link the two up, stick the stud through on the one, and then just close it up from there into a triple wrap design. And it's it basically makes it so you only have to put one stud on when you're putting the total bracelet set on. And so that's that's a really cool option. I just got done with this whole, making this whole set of these. This is Wicket & Craig Natural Latigo. This is extremely strong, hardy stuff. It is nine ounces thick. That's very thick. That's, I think it looks to me like a full millimeter. Um, this is very hardy stuff. It's got that nice off-white color about it, meaning it will, it's a natural veg tan. It will patina like crazy over the years. Yeah, I have my set right here. So full disclosure, the rough outside, it's a little rough. So until it really absorbs like your skin's oils and stuff, it'll be a little stiff. Feels kind of like wood on your wrist at first. All right, there we go. Super badass. I've only worn this twice, so they haven't, this hasn't patinated a whole ton since starting wearing it, but I'm a big fan. So I'm offering it in, British tan double shot here. Now this I've been wearing a whole bunch. This has patinated wildly. It's really darkened up into a nice like rich red amber color. Super nice. It starts out off as like a nice mellow amber orangish color and it's just dramatically patinated. That's the set that I've worn the most. I wear this with my brown boots, my brown belts. Uh, this goes well with tan and dark brown. So I've been wearing that a lot. And this is the one that I've been wearing the second most. This is an oxblood double shot brilliant brilliant stuff so again that's my this is my double wrap and my single wrap combined thanks a lot again tick for that little uh tidbit of advice i also have these this is in golden tan battle assy in italian leather this is made from the last remaining leftover scraps from my buddy eric deo's bag i built him a scout in this leather and it is just phenomenal it's got a phenomenal smell to it as well and then this is Natural Vaquetta Lux. It looks very similar to the Latigo, the Wicket and Craig Latigo. This is also this is Battalassi as well, but the Wicket and Craig Latigo is way stiffer. As you can see, the Wicket and Craig Latigo, it's got a much firmer temper. This stuff, a lot more floppy, a lot more comfortable, a lot more buttery. Um, so this is five and a half ounces thick. The double shot are both going to be five and a half ounces thick as well. 
I just wanted to do a real quick announcement. Um, these are going on my site. I hope to have them up for sale here shortly. I'm really excited about this product because I've been wearing this every single day. I really, you know, being a watch guy, I know that, you know, like the, the watch guys really like to accessorize with bracelets. And for that reason, I think these bracelets have a really good, beefy, like manly look. There's nothing girly or dainty about these bracelets whatsoever. They're very hardy. They will last forever. At least I think I've tried to break mine. I haven't been able to do it yet. Then again, I haven't been like welding or performing super dangerous tasks in them yet. Just leather work and things like that. But yeah, I'm really excited about this design. I know that bracelets aren't for everybody, but for those of you that do like them, I, you know, I see some stuff out there on the market. Isaac from Pigeon Tree Crafting has very cool bracelets as well. I decided that I wanted to sort of prototype my own type of a design and so I'm really happy with the outcome. It's really simple. The way that they work is, so I punch two holes in the single wrap to accommodate most wrists. The first hole is at the eight inch mark. The second hole is at the eight and a half inch mark. So that should accommodate most wrists. The double wrap, the first hole is at the 15 inch mark. The second hole is at 15 and three quarters and the third hole is gonna be at the 16 and a half inch mark and so if you get the set it's basically guaranteed you know no matter how big or small your wrist is the set will definitely you'll be able to adjust the set to most wrist types the other thing that I incorporated into this is yeah so this stud is basically set to easily go through one of the holes and just pop in and out just like that super simple nothing crazy because I know like a lot of my I've had a lot of bracelets in the past where they're just super hard to to buckle or to fasten and so I wanted to get around that and using this using the raw brass stud is I think the way to go for that so anyways please guys leave me your thoughts in the comments below do you think this is a good idea are you bracelet guys if so uh, check out my website dalesleatherworks.com put in an order all the support is greatly appreciated I've had lots of orders so far i think in a in about a week and a half i've fulfilled about going on about 20 different kilties orders truly it's a blessing i i love it this has been so fulfilling to do i really hope to contribute to the leather fiend community with these products i don't think you'll be disappointed because i'm a very discerning person myself and i will not skimp on the quality or the leather or the components the hardware none of it i buy all the best stuff because I know that that's what, if you guys are watching this channel, then you're already part of the leather collecting elite, I would say. <laughs> I don't sell anything I wouldn't use myself. That's my guarantee. And so anyways, with that said, thanks a lot for watching, guys. What do you think about these bracelets? Leave me your thoughts in the comments below. And anyways, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you all in my next video.